Today on Susquehanna Express, we're speaking with Ruth Stoll, who is the president of the board of the brand new Beacon Clinic for Health and Hope. Thank you for coming, Ruth. Thank you. So this clinic is going to be focused in the uptown Harrisburg area. Yes. Um, what is the clientele that you're really searching for for this clinic? We are interested in primarily focusing in on the uninsured and the underserved. Now that incorporates a lot of different types of, of population. Um, it may be the working poor, those who um, are working but do not have enough money for either insurance or for health care. Um, it will include prisoners in transition who uh, are out of prison but do not have a place or set yet. Okay. Um, it will include immigrants, uh, refugees uh, who are here, and um, a number of other different homeless people um, in the area as well. Great. How did the idea for starting a free clinic in that area come about? Um, I was the health nurse, parish nurse, at uh, St. Paul's Episcopal Church um, in Uptown Harrisburg. And um, after I left, I was there for six years, uh, two other nurses uh, were uh, carrying on the program, and they re had a new pastor come to the church. And she was very interested in taking that health ministry beyond the walls of the church mm -hmm. to really get out into the community. We had been doing a little bit with people in the community, but not as much. And uh, so she got us together and we sent out letters to a variety of uh, churches in the area uh, and uh, got together to look at the possibility of what would be the best outreach needed in that area. And uh, that task force then developed a survey, which we um, did at the Salvation Army, and we did it at the Neighborhood Center, um, and um, a number of other churches in the area there, and found that about 33% of the people who did the survey um, had no insurance or had no health care, except the emergency room, which we didn't think was a very positive long-term care. Mm -hmm. So that was how we started um, and then um, we began to um, talk with other people, other free oh. clinics in, in Pennsylvania. Uh, there's one in Westchester, one in E-Town, one in Columbia and we began to talk with them about what it would be like and what we needed. We've begun to talk to some of the um, administrators of the city of Harrisburg and um, that's how we've begun. Great. Again. What kind of services are you going to provide at this free clinic? Um, we hope to have primary care, which includes assessment, and we'll have a very simple laboratory there where we can do blood tests, um, oh, urinalysis. Okay. Um, right there. Those, right. Okay. And um, then we will have um, a doctor um, and a nurse practitioner who will be there to be able to diagnose and treat whatever is necessary. We hope to provide long-term management of chronic illnesses like diabetes, hypertension, uh, cardiovascular problems, um, asthma, different problems. Many people have the chronic illnesses and obviously it can't be cured, but if they don't take care of themselves and they don't know quite how they should take care of themselves, um, there are a lot of complications. And so we're trying to prevent complications and also help them to be able to manage for themselves. Um, I think one of the things spiritually we're really interested in is um, for people to realize that their bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit and that God really calls them to um, care for themselves. So that we want to empower them with knowledge, skill, uh, support, so that they will be able to care for themselves 
um, and, and each other in the community. Mm -hmm. It sounds like it is a, a good program to be able to provide not only immediate needs assistance, but also preventative care. Right, right. Our, our, our goals are really three. We want to do health education, outreach into the community, um, and uh, the primary care, which is right in the clinic itself. And then also we want to do wellness coaching, which will be a follow-up with a great deal of that. You had mentioned that you reached out to all of the churches in the area. What are some ways that different denominations have come together for this program? We have had um, the churches that contribute. Uh, sometimes they've really focused in on a particular project. Um, one church gave adequate money for an exam room um, to furnish a whole exam room. Um, and they will have a plaque that will be on the outside that will provide that. Other churches have provided um, individual contributions. Um, a, n a number of, uh, of um, churches have also given uh, toward a particular project um, and uh, one, one gave to a particular health education project that we're, we're doing. Um, and so it's, it's varied. We've had a lot of um, in-kind, if you will, physicians who are retiring who want to um, donate their equipment uh, from their offices. We had one, phys one dentist who uh, gave us a whole dental suite nice. with all, everything in it. Yeah, so yeah. that there have been, and the, and the contributions have come from a variety of denominations, not any one particular mm -hmm. denominations. Some of them uh, also have uh, provided for particular durable equipment like an EKG machine, that kind of thing. It's nice when, as a body of Christ, we can all come together and pitch in for one amazing project and community outreach and um, just show people that face of Christ um, and it doesn't really matter about the denomination. That's right, that's right, yes, so. yes. And we're, we're working with a lot of the churches in terms of volunteers. Um, there are only three paid people in our, co uh, in our uh, clinic. That's the medical director, the backup physician, and the nurse practitioner. Okay. Um, and um, everybody else will be a volunteer. Okay. And so they will do a, a number of different positions. We have one volunteer who's coming to be another nurse practitioner in the clinic. Um, and it, an interesting story in relation to him, he's just come back from a year in Nepal. Oh, wow. And we have discovered that the Catholic Charities has brought a whole, whole bunch of, and I, and I can't tell you the exact number, of refugees from Nepal that are in a housing um, apartment complex, which is very close to the clinic. Okay, so and they'll have a connection. And part of the problems yeah. with them is the language, mm -hmm. and they also have uh, some illnesses like diabetes, which they really know very little about because they've been in a refugee camp a good mm -hmm. part of their life. So we want to work with Catholic Charities to be able to provide um, help education for these people through this nurse who has been in Nepal yeah. and is able to talk with them. It's amazing to yeah. see God just put all the pieces of the puzzle That's together. Right. I, I've, so. been, I've been awed by all that, that God has done in that way. It's been fantastic. Well, I thank you for your willingness to um, accept this position and to move forward with this interesting project in Harrisburg. It's been, it's been exciting. Mm -hmm. Thank you. If you would like to learn about more missions like this one, you can check out my Facebook page at Susquehanna Express.